Yes, folks, I know the internet is going crazy over the new NVIDIA RTX cards. By the way, check out my review on the NVIDIA RTX 3090 up there. But today we're going to see how the NVIDIA GTX 970 holds up to popular games in 2021. By the way, I'm going to be giving a GTX 970 super clocked away. So watch the whole video to find out how you can enter. We'll start with a brief overview of this card's specs. Believe it or not, this card was released over six years ago and it comes with 1,664 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1,050 MHz that boosts up to a whopping 1,178 MHz. And they hold it, a crazy amount of 7 GHz of video memory clock speed. It even has SLI, which is one of the few things that is missing from the latest cards. But it's not all singing and dancing, since it comes with a controversial amount of VRAM. So why do I say controversial, you ask? Well, Nvidia released this card marketing it with four gigabytes of GDDR5 video memory, but 970 owners started noticing that games would only use three and a half gigs of VRAM, or the graphics cards would just simply crap out when using the full four gigs of RAM. This was such a controversy around that time that actually an NVIDIA rep came out and said, well, the 970 VRAM is divided into two. You have a three and a half gig chunk and another 500 megabyte chunk. This sounds all good and dandy, but here's the issue. The three and a half gig chunk can run at full speed, while the 500 megabyte chunk can only run at one seventh of the speed which is why 970 users noticed degraded performance when using more than 3.5 gigs of memory. However, a really important note here is it doesn't affect the speed of the main 3.5 gig chunk. So what does this mean in 2021? Well, it just means that you can play 1080p games very comfortably, but it might slightly struggle with 1440 and 4K simply because those resolutions just require more VRAM. Aside from it being a graphics card, Nvidia has packaged this card with some really cool features as well. It is supported by Nvidia Experience, it comes with shadow play recording and streaming, game stream for shield, auto optimizing and updating of games. Additionally, it comes with third generation Delta color compression to make better use of video memory bandwidth. It has super dynamic resolution, which lets you upscale your games to a higher resolution than downsampling for better visuals. Support from MFAA, which is a less demanding anti-aliasing mode with no quality loss. And auto asynchronous WAP, a VR feature that improves the VR experience and reduces that motion sickness that you get when playing VR games. But the main thing we all want to know is how the GTX 970 holds up to games in 2021. So some notes before I start benchmarking is that all benchmarks are done at reference speed, including the super clock card that we have. Additionally, all the tests were done on an Intel i7 4790K with 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. All tests were done at native 1080p and games were loaded on an M.2 drive for optimal performance. When it came to finally running the actual benchmarks, I was really impressed and pleased with its performance in my test bench. With every single test, it performed as well as a GTX 780, which is good considering that's its price point. Speaking of which, when compared it to newer cards such as the 1650, the 970 performed much, much better, roughly 20% better. But when compared to the GTX 1660, it simply had no grunt left. This was equally echoed in gameplay tests, so all the games were tested in their respective medium presets available in the game. The 970 ran Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War at 60 FPS, while interestingly enough, it ran Call of Duty Warzone at 68 FPS. It managed 220 FPS in CSGO and 146 FPS in Fortnite, which for a six year old card is really impressive. In GTA 5, it got a cool 67 FPS and averaged around 46 FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. In more recently released games such as Rogue Company, it got 168 FPS. And well, finally, in the blockbuster Cyberpunk 2077 game, it got a decent but sad FPS of 32. Unfortunately, while I have two of these cards available, I did not test in SLI since only a small handful of games support SLI now and none of them are part of my testing workflow. 
Sadly, SLI is pretty much dead, with NVIDIA and game developers no longer supporting it. As you saw in the test, this card can somewhat keep up with the heavy hitters, and its price to performance value is very strong compared to its competition. This is especially true when looking at wattage, coming in at a full system wattage of 305. The 970 is an extremely low power overhead card, which might actually make a difference on your power bill depending on what you're running. And that's not all, this card is running at only 65 degrees Celsius while under load. So is it worth it? Should you get a 970? Well, I think the value it brings is amazing. If you have a tight budget or upgrading an older system, the power efficiency means you might not need to upgrade your power supply. And well, frankly, the stunning performance of the 970 makes it a compelling choice for budget gamers on a tight budget. Okay, now the part that most of you have been waiting for, the giveaway. If you are watching this video before February the 7th, 2021, then listen up closely. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to me on YouTube, then leave a comment down below with why you want the 970 and what games you plan on playing on it. Then go on Instagram and follow me at underscore chili sauce and that's it. You can enter as many times as you want. Subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram on all of your accounts. And I'll pick a random winner on a live YouTube stream on the 7th of February, 2021 at 8 p.m. UK GMT time. Thanks for watching my video today. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos or other comments that are just simply more complicated than this or this. You can also find the link in the description below to subscribe to us if you want to support us or change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a small kickback whenever you purchase something.